Okay, I live in a town where they are all blood-sucking vampires. This is not an exaggeration. Every weekend they piss me off so they can feed off negativity. They have raped my dog till she bleeds, running me up hundreds of vet things. Um, I just don't know what to do. The priests are corrupt as fuck. The police are corrupt as fuck. They are filthy, blood-sucking vampires. As far as I know, his name's Jason Black, and he sells women, children, pets for £1,500. Then they get released on. This is not actual rape. It's actually blood-sucking vampires. The filth are outside my house. I have got no money, no hoover, no human rights. I've been locked up for reporting it. I've been infected up to the hilt with this filth. Um, my dog, one day she was bleeding. She was virused up. The business they run is filth. The head one, David, he made over a million. They brag about it. You can see the luck of my eyes. The life is sucked out of me. I am 55 years old. They are relentless. Newbury, Berkshire. Talbot Close, Brummel Road. I live in Birchall Road. The whole town has become busy with these psychic vampires. They suck your soul. They suck the life out of you. Animals, pets, children. Trust pikes to get on the act fast. They finance all the bad things in the world. Um, they make a fortune. David, whatever, I don't know their exact surname. They're cowards. They hide in shadows. But he made over a million off of me and my dog. Then they wipe your mind. I've got scars on my face. The other day I woke up with big scratches down my arm. They're not selling you to people. They are selling you to some sort of reptilian filth. They are hundreds of years old and um, they're infected, basically. They stink. The doctors here, uh, they cover it up. They've took all my passport. They've took all my money. They're withholding benefits. I live in the most filthiest, disgusting, disgusting conditions. I've had no heating for five years. I actually retired at 42 as a property developer. They've stopped my medical treatment. They've stopped my dental treatment. Um, I don't know what else to say. They say it's like this everywhere in England. I live with about a thousand disgusting feeders and they expect prayers to work. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Me and my dog are literally being spiritually raped to death and no one is doing a thing about it. Now, can you believe I've got over 400 family members in this town and it was actually someone I'm related to who sold me. That is low, mate. They're financing terrorism and getting away with it. The police are covering for them. They're in my house to try and make me look crazy. They move things, steal my keys. They're all linked. And basically, I was putting in that house. If anyone wants to the research, I've got phones, I've got evidence. There is a big cover-up, but I'm... Actually, quite high up the chain, I come from... Well, it doesn't even matter about that, but basically, I've got permission, I'll be protected to talk about it. Anyone out there, a doctor, wants evidence, pa written paperwork, can you believe I actually got put in a nut house because my dog could bite someone? And also, the first thing they said when I got in there, we need to find out who you are. So the NHS knows about this. They're covering it up. You get put in jail or nut houses just because you're preferred feeding. It is to do with your blood type. Um, if I showed you now, it looks like the quietest street in the town, the town I live in. Like It looks like there's no crime whatsoever. They are filthy, blood-sucking vampires. How they do it, I'm not sure, but they change your vibration. They rev up cars outside your house, flash headlights. Now, none of them talk about grassing. You're not allowed to grass anyone. But they all grass me up, and they don't do anything about the rest of it that goes on. And what makes me laugh, this is supposed to be a hard town, they will only pick on vulnerable women old women, um, animals that can't speak up. This is the weakest, filthiest slave town. Now, I could do with a bit of backup. I'm not into violence or anything like that. The reason they do it is because I'm actually quite religious. 
I need some prayers and I need someone to help me get the evidence. Look at my other videos. I think it's good evidence, but I am kept in a state of complete trauma. Sort of like they will make things go wrong. Example, I've got bad lungs for six years now. Every time my dog starts molting, my hoover packs up. Um, my keys go missing no matter how many times I've changed my locks. I can explain to you exactly how they operate. Uh, their experimentation has gone wrong. I mean, even in the names of the road, Birch Hell Road is Mas Masonic. Then when I go to do my washing, Tal Bot. What's a bot? It's fly. They're insectoids. They don't even know they've been hosted. If you pull them... They will look at you as if you're crazy. They all have money, and not one of them. I've got bad arms, bad legs, and I have to hump two miles back every day, carrying at least 10 kilograms with bad lungs. The bus driver just took my bus pass. They just think they're it. Newbury, Berkshire, England, Spain especially. They are filth. The women breed through ignorance with pure crap and now they've been rewarded their women are laden up with cancer you cannot mix with these things they do not work and september is a big date something big's gonna happen um basically that's it but my life is worse than anything you could possibly imagine i mean can you imagine this christmas i had no money no heating and no food how the hell can care in the community let that happen and all they're worried about i've got no over i'm choking on dog hairs i've got no washing machine uh, my carpets are fred through to the bear they keep when i complain they keep laying these things on me i complain to the ipcc about human abuse sort of thing they took it seriously two days later um four cops turned up and three doctors to incarcerate me for complaining about ritual abuse i mean they said i didn't meet the criteria but straight away they said watch your step or you're going in why should i live like this it's disgusting they are breaking all human rules and you ignore it it's going to happen to your family and friends we're the early warning system. I worked in a charity. 90% of the members died. That's how I became mentally unwell when I asked questions. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm going to see if I can get some evidence together and put it up. I am going through the worst abuse in history. And they actually said to me 10 years ago when I first came back, I came back because my mum wasn't, was, well, she actually died through the same sort of treatment. But they actually said we got a martyr on our hands. And they also said, we're going to make you feel safe and then we're going to kill you. I cannot travel. I am under house arrest. When I walk out, it looks like I'm free. I am marched, walked wherever I go. This is a really bad situation. Who the fuck do these fucking pikey families think they are? They sold this out to the devil. They're not having mine. If anyone can put up um, easy going Lady and Rottweiler, be most grateful. Bye.